I'm Shirley Phillips. I'm manager of the West Point Lighthouse. So we have the nine rooms here and one room over at the wharf that we look after. The one at the wharf is uh, efficiency suite, so it's self-contained and uh, it's good for bikers to spot at the bottom of the stairway to bring your bikes in for the night. There's a lot of followers of lighthouse. Lighthouses all over the, uh, the world and they, they love to sleep in a lighthouse. But they want to be able to go out on the beach in the evening and see the sunset or uh, take pictures in the, at night with the sun coming up or the moon coming up over the wharf next door and, and that's the kind of thing they're looking for. They don't want the high tech kind of deal. They sit back with a book and relax. The full moon coming up on the wharf, just a kilometre away where we have the 28 fishermen going out every morning lobster fishing. If you're over there in the evening, catch that. They, they just appreciate the beauty of the, the wild <laughs> beach kind of thing. Our lighthouse is a little different. It's uh, black and white. Most of them on the island are red painted on. It took about two years of letter writing back in the day to get permission to have a black and white lighthouse. The first lighthouse keeper, he did a lot of letter writing to try to get black and white instead of red. He thought that the red paint would would uh, not be distinguishable with the, the red sands. The most popular room is the tower room. It's, locate, it's the only room located directly in the tower of the lighthouse. It's on the second floor and the ceilings are 12 feet high. It's uh, kind of designated as a honeymoon suite. The rest of the lighthouse, the five stories, are uh, also set up as a museum. This is the parlor. The organ is, is the original one that our first lighthouse keeper had, so Frank McDonald's family. But there's some people that actually stu still do come in and play it for us, so it's kind of neat. Now this is the keeper's quarters. We rent this out and um, this is where the family of the lighthouse keeper would have stayed every night. There's many lenses that they used to use. It just depend on the type of day. I mean, there's supposed to be uh, buried treasure here in the West Point somewhere. And the Loch Ness Monster's cousin is here as well, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> We open about the last week of May and we'll close the first week of October unless we're having a really good warm fall and then we'll probably stay open another week longer than that. This restaurant here, it's a family restaurant, it serves 72 seats at a time and uh, we have a craft shop run by a guild of local ladies. We have the campground next door to us here, it's the Cedar Dunes Provincial Campground and they have a lot of um, sites that are right on the beach so you couldn't get any better than that either if you're if you're a camper. People that stay here are so unique that they they just love the beach and they love the fact that they're at a lighthouse. Mm -hmm.